Hello everyone and welcome to BTC's Discord channel streaming to you live. This will also be recorded and posted on our YouTube channel, so if anyone missed it, um, you can definitely watch it there. This session will be very casual, just a Q&A and tips um, on how to get started in cybersecurity, let you know the path that I took going 0 to 100. Um, so if there's no pressure, any questions are welcome, feel free to pop anything in the chat at any time and we'll see what we can get for you. Um, there is also a blog posted on BTC's website to reference as well um, that kind of goes along with this, so you can reference that as well. Um, I dropped some resources here in the chat that I'll kind of reference throughout this session, um, so that's what that is. So, a little bit about myself. I graduated with a BA in Business Administration, and I've been working in accounting for the last six years. Um, I switched to cybersecurity in the fall of 2021, and now I am working in CISO as an incident response manager. So it can be done. <laughs> um, I know switching careers to anything is intimidating, let alone a technical career. Um, I, you know, just speaking for myself, I thought cybersecurity was way too above me. I would not be able to understand it, um, but here we are. So I'm just going to throw out some tips your way and answer some questions. So, so moving on to tip number one and two are not technical at all. This is just kind of setting you up for success. Um, take this as you will. Maybe you don't need or want a mentor. Um, maybe you're just dipping your toes in the water and you're not sure if you want to go on this path yet. Um, but I think that having a strong mentor is definitely a good way to go. Um, having a good mentor will keep you on track, you know, holds you accountable. Hey, we're meeting on this day at this time. Um, you know, did you do your homework? Things of that nature. And, you know, the mentor can also answer your questions. Um, uh, so BTC, of course, uh, we offer single sessions as well. If you don't want to commit to a full path or, you know, again, you're just dipping your toes in the water, um, we're here for you. Um, we'll be hosting free Discord streams as well. So we're definitely here as a mentor in any way that you need, um, whether private sessions, Discord sessions, maybe you're just watching our free cybersecurity boot camp on YouTube. Um, we can definitely help you there. Um, so we are there for you. Um, and this tip number two kind of rolls into that with having a strong support system. BTC, we are here for you. We are your community as well. Um, but I do think that, you know, let's say you live with a significant other or roommates or something, just make sure they're aware of what you're doing. Um, you know, speaking for myself, I live with my fiance and he was very supportive. I've definitely had a lot of down and out days. It's very overwhelming um, and it helps a lot to just have friends, family, BTC um, here for you um, to pick you up when you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Um, so that's definitely just, again, a non-technical tip, just something that I think people don't really think about. Um, so, yeah. All right. So going into how I actually did it. <laughs> um, so this, again, is my personal path. I'm not telling anyone what to do. You know, maybe this doesn't work for everyone, but um, it did work for me. So it's, that's why I'm letting you guys know. Um, so initially, I had my mentor, Haley Shaw. <laughs> so we basically did our own uh, mini green to green boot camp, if you will, before it was official. <laughs> and after that, I started studying for the CompTIA A plus certification. Um, that is um, one of the resources I had popped in here. Um, that's just a very good beginner certification that people, um, you know, uh, managers recognize. Um, let's see, we have a question here. So how long would it take? So the CompTIA A plus is compromised of two exams. So it's not one test, it's actually two. Um, so I would say about two months if you really dedicate to it. Um, I would say I probably did at least maybe like 10 to 15 hours a week studying for that, give or take. Um, but 
but maybe one month for each test. So it took me two months. And again, studying at least 10 hours a week on that, if not more, that might be an underestimate. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, thank you for the question. Um, so after that, I started applying to a bunch of IT positions. I was applying to cybersecurity roles as well, but wasn't really getting any bites back, which makes sense. <laughs> um, so I started applying for IT, started an IT position, and then I started studying for my Security Plus. Um, attained that and again, started applying for cybersecurity positions and started a non-technical role in cybersecurity. Um, again, you know, there's so many roles in cybersecurity. They're not all technical, so you don't have to be scared, um, you know, making the jump um, to start a career in cybersecurity. So, of course, I make it look pretty easy there, right? <laughs> so here's tip number four um, for, you know, some things that happen in, in the middle of all that. Um, big tip, get involved with the community. You know, follow pages on LinkedIn of companies um, that you like, like Splunk, Black Hills Info Security. Um, go to career fairs, go to cybersecurity summits. I did pop a cybersecurity summit there in the resources in the chat. Um, and they do both virtual and in person. I've gone to both and they generally are free. So that's always great. We love free. <laughs> um, but just going to these career fairs and the cybersecurity summits and following these people, getting involved with these people on LinkedIn, you'll hear the terms. You'll get familiar with um, companies and roles, positions, and that'll just help you, you know, get more involved with cybersecurity and what it really entails. Um, another aspect is just, you know, developing your social platforms and involvement in the community. Um, you got to showcase your skills to employers. So, you know, if you get a certification, definitely, um, you know, post that on LinkedIn. Um, we love it. <laughs> um, you can also get involved with Black Hills Info Security Discord. Um, you can get involved with Splunk in their Slack channel. Um, it might sound overwhelming at first, but even if you just start following these pages in the beginning um, and then start to get more involved as you feel more confident, um, but you never know who's watching and, you know, make connections. And again, with these career fairs and summits, you know, definitely networking is your friend. Um, as in any uh, career fields, but networking is definitely um, a very good thing to um, elevate for you. So if anyone knows of any good uh, summits or career fairs, definitely pop them in the chat. Um, but I'll move on to my next one. So this is not a fun one, the interview process. <laughs> when I first started, I was, you know, not confident. They weren't the smoothest. Um, you know, they do do technical interviews and that was something I've never experienced before being in accounting. So um, it was definitely intimidating, but I just kept going and eventually, you know, had a great position in IT. And then I got a position in cybersecurity. So you do just have to keep going. Don't let yourself down too bad. Um, and BTC offers mock technical interviews for $20 an hour. That's it. And, you know, even if you just do it one time, um, you know, that'll be very beneficial to you just to get you feeling a little bit more comfortable. And as time goes on, you will. <laughs> oh, and speaking of interviews, so this is not only beneficial to yourself to at literally stay in the know. Things change every day in the technical and cyber world. Um, but I have been asked this question on every interview in both IT and cybersecurity. They say, how do you stay updated? How do you stay in the know um, with cybersecurity? And so again, in the chat, um, it's gonna be under cybersecurity news. Those are just some I like, um, dark reading, even LinkedIn. Um, if you just read an article a day or so, you know, just to get yourself familiar with it. Again, you know, if you don't understand an article, don't force yourself to read it. <laughs> 
But um, but that's definitely one, something that you will be asked in an interview, most likely, and two, very beneficial for yourself. So last but not least is honestly just keep going. Um, you know, after you start your position in IT, let's say, if that's the route you decide to take, you know, just keep going, keep going. Get your security plus, keep applying, keep getting more certifications, whether they're free from course era or things like that nature. Um, Range Force is a good one. Don't believe I put that in, oh yes I did, yep. Rainforge is a good one. Um, so just keep building your resume and you know, don't let up. Um, and we'll be doing you know, a YouTube session soon um, for some home labs. Um, if no one is familiar with this, this is something that managers like to see. It just shows that you're you know, getting involved and that you're actually interested in going the extra mile. Um, so just keep an eye out for that. We'll be popping up some YouTube sessions. That way you can kind of walk through that with us and um, that's a resume builder. Um, so it's definitely um, just got to keep it going. Um, so some free tools. Um, so ones that I like, so Virus Total is a free tool that you can use. Um, Wireshark. Um, and then again, as far as learning, you know, Course Era is free. Rangeforce has a free edition. Um, there's a lot of good tools out there. Um, and we can definitely send a follow up in the chat. I'll send out a list for you. Um, and then as far as, you know, CompTIA, definitely Professor Messer and Jason Dion is um, definitely what I used to pass those. They're well known for a reason. <laughs> but yeah, so basically those are my biggest tips that I could think of. Um, you know, you just have to keep going and keep learning and, you know, you will find that dream job eventually. Um, but definitely let us know if you have any further questions, um, you know, or any questions about certifications, anything like that. Um, we're definitely here for you and we'll, we'll try and get you there. <laughs>